Today marks the famous Glorious Twelfth. Controversial to so many, however, for those who really understand its meaningful aplenty. It is more than just a day you can, it's a celebration. Twelve long hard months of graft, everything we work for, its community, its conservation. Today is a day seeped in years of tradition, a day we are proud of as it's passed from generation to generation. To the uneducated and prejudiced, they think it's half for fun, that we have no respect at all for life, although our work benefits more than just one. It's not just the grouse you see, it's the economy to precious wildlife that's prevented face starvation. Keepers are not wealthy and can be confused for toughs. Many have the wrong perception. We work hard all year round because we are proud of our vocation. Predators take control, heather to burn, our management means rare birds return. Curlew's call, eagles soar, peewees sing, there's merlins, barnells, ospreys to run. Three days, rivers flow, blocks fill, tourists come from our room to admire the hill. Early starts, sunrise, the constant wrath from our country's bureaucrats. Boots in, radio ready, each day's bra, it shouldn't be under threat of the final straw. Rare species, rooms with views, my office is better than yours. Floras, faunas and strange wee beasties wouldn't they have us abide in our cities. Stags roar, rut and strut, keepers busy, hours long, partners moan when we'll be home. Sheep out, tick controlled, precious time, it's private money controlling line. Chicks hatch, counts in, counting down the days till we begin. Lodges prep, staff gather for a season in the iconic purple heather. Authies fill after the door, despite aunties who will troll. Local businesses benefit and thrive for the grouse that we drive. Game meat, a joy to eat, truly healthy and sustainable. Nay just a treat for the elite to grace upon their table. Tweed on, it's nay trend, our uniform, practical, identifiable, unique. From hill to mill, another trade near an end. Thanks to a puckle of chancers like Avery, Packham and their clique. The beating lines filled with laughter to the bothies where there's banter. Tarby brushes or methods for the past be under no illusion our rural workers are the true first class. For today is momentous, truly to our graft, not condemnation for the conservation that is our skill and craft. Grouse numbers may be as low as our spirits this year, but thanks to our country's decision makers, whose knowledge undoubtedly gives us the fear. They say that Scotland is one for all without the V, clearly this is capers. Despite the work all year round, we must let the grouse be, because more important to us your stock is the future of our industry. Laddies, lassies, lairds and ladies, wains, bairns and loons, stop listening to all the glacant muppets who try to rewild their precious rural tunes. Open your eyes and see it's near about the wealth, we should be notorious for being glorious. Celebrated on August 12th, 